host of Professional Sports Channel on YouTube. Welcome back to Swivel Chairs for your host, Zach Sergeant Bark Burkle, here with my host today, Aaron, Joe, and Siege. Go ahead and say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Oh. All right, please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into it. So, in this video, we'll be talking about the upcoming matchup Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Part 3. Game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills taking place in Buffalo this Sunday night at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, Josh Allen finally gets to play host in this all-time matchup between a couple of all-time great quarterbacks, hopefully in the future. Uh, at least one for sure. Josh Allen, you better get your stuff together. But um, with that being said, Aaron, do you think a, a win here for Josh Allen would finally, you know, put him on the same level as Patrick Mahomes? Or do you think he still needs to do more considering, you know, he still wouldn't have any Super Bowl wins, any MVPs. Uh, Patrick Mahomes already having two of both. So, you know, he would get that one playoff win, but, you know, Joe Burrow's only got one win over Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs, and look what that's done. Is this you fishing for me to... To put down Josh Allen, because no mean, bias at all. No, no bias. <laughs> no, this is just this no, is just me being passive. This is a ridiculous question. This is just me being passive aggressive. That's all. You're just glazing <laughs> Mahomes right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, no, it doesn't right go after the Jack and Goff well, video, there's, this there's is what no happens. argument. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next so, question. Yeah. <laughs> Next serious question, please. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Do you think uh do you think if they win this game the Bills have a legitimate shot at winning a Super Bowl this year? Yeah, I mean I think their struggles early on have kind of solidified this this team into to what it is. It's made them stronger and tighter with everything they've been through and I think it's ridiculous to say that they're not one of the best teams in the NFL, and whoever they they face, whether it's the Texans or the Ravens, that should be a, a good matchup. Should they beat the Chiefs? Yeah, definitely going to be tough for them in the past. Obviously, uh, Mahomes with a two and zero record against them in the playoffs. Um, for some reason, my camera's really blurry, so sorry about that. Hopefully, it'll fix itself soon. Um, but Patrick Mahomes playing some of his best football in the playoffs against the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Josh Allen as well, but Patrick Mahomes has just been a little bit better. Do you think that, uh, uh, Joe, do you think that if the Chiefs win this game, do you think that's kind of like it on the conversation between the two? Like, do you think the, the, the comparison between the two of them kind of kind of stops there? Because, I mean, at that point, I mean, we're kind of getting into Brady-Manning territory. Like, yeah, we were comparing the two for a while, but eventually Tom Brady got so far ahead that we, 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 we got to a point where we couldn't do that anymore. Do you think if Mahomes wins this game and let's say even wins the Super Bowl this year, do you think that kind of separates them enough to where we're probably done comparing the two of them? I don't think we should be comparing them either way. Uh, Josh Allen is much more consistent and... Yeah, I think if the Bills win, it's going to just continue to carry the conversation. Oh, there you go. Um, but I don't think it should be in the conversation. If Mahomes wins, then, yeah, you got to end it outright. Head-to-head -head matchups Mahomes has, then all the other accolades you already named off a couple mm -hmm. minutes ago. Like, Mahomes already got it, so um, it'd, it'd be pretty hard, even if Josh Allen wins it lets the conversation linger, but I don't think it enhances his side anymore just because of one win. Right. Uh, Siege, um, with you not really having a dog in the fight here between the Chiefs and Bills, and with me clearly having a bias towards one, I mean, I'm clearly not hiding it at all whatsoever, so uh, I think it's all pretty apparent where, where I stand. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Siege, with you being an unbiased third party, what are your what are kind of your thoughts on the whole Josh Allen Patrick Mahomes debate? Well, my initial thoughts are I don't think he's standing or sitting, Aaron. I think he's kneeling, and I think I need to get him some knee pads. 
So, um, <laughs> yeah. So, no, I think I think Mahomes um, has ha, has gotten the better of Josh Allen in the past. I think. I mean, just with Josh Allen's inconsistencies, kind of historically, that there's not necessarily a conversation anymore. Um, I I do agree with Joe. If if Josh Allen ends up, or if Josh Allen, if the Bills end up winning, they could let the let a conversation linger. Uh, but I, I think that Josh Allen and the Bills would have to go and finish the job even after winning against the Chiefs. If that were to, if they were to win against the Chiefs, they would have to go and finish the job and win a Super Bowl. So, and I don't necessarily see that happening, even if they do beat the Chiefs. So I think I kind of agree with y'all. I don't think there's necessarily a question, um, but yeah. Yeah, I uh, I didn't really go into this video intending it to be a all hail Mahomes video, but it kind of turned into that, so that's my bad. But uh, uh, yeah, what what color knee pads? Do you it's want? His, it's his first away <laughs> game. Do we think that matters? Oh, first there we go. Thank game. you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> With this, this being, choke on the road. with this being his first playoff, see, I don't think it does. I guess that's why, probably why I forgot to mention it is because I personally don't think it matters that it's his first playoff road game. Uh, we've seen, I know it's the regular season, but we've seen in the past the regular season he's perfectly fine. He's not phased whether it's at home, whether it's on the road. If anything, I think he's slightly better statistically on the road in his career than he is at home. Um, but it's fairly comparable. I mean, he's amazing no matter where he plays. Uh, outside of Tampa Bay when they have a home, you know, Super Bowl because, you know, Tom Brady gets whatever he wants. But uh, other than that, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes plays great wherever he goes. So I don't think that's a huge factor. Uh, do, you, do you think it is, Aaron? Do you think it's going to be – I mean, Orchard Park – it may be windier up there, but I don't think the temperature is going to be drastically different than it would be in Kansas City anyways. I, it really comes down to the fan base, which, yeah, the Bills Mafia is, is ravenous. It, the, the fan base is uh, honestly quite scary um, with, with their willingness to put their bodies on the line for seemingly no reason. So uh, that's a little frightening. <laughs> But uh, they're a good, they're a good, you know, fan base. I'm not gonna take anything away from them. We have a nice little rivalry going for the past, you know, few years. But at the end of the day, they're a great fan base. Um, but at the, I also don't think that really matters to Mahomes. I think he's gonna end up playing amazing regardless. So, uh, what are your thoughts? I mean, that Tampa Bay Super Bowl. That really is like a road playoff game. Tampa Bay in their home stadium playing against the Chiefs. And the Chiefs did not look good. So that's that's like the one true marker. I don't think you can count like a it's neutral site as, yeah. as a true away game. It's the closest thing So I think that's the closest thing that, that he's had to a true road playoff game. And everybody knows that that was not his best performance. Granted, and, he did and, not have a lot of help from some of his teammates. You know, well, on his defense, he also had a bunch of third string all linemen, but... Yeah, true. But I mean, that's that's the one kind of marker we have to judge him based off of. So, with that being said, no, I I don't really. I don't. It's like a a step above a, a regular season game. He's gonna be fine. Okay. Okay. So all that just to say that. Oh, agree. Okay. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you got you got any thoughts on the Mahomes first road playoff game? Nah, it would be cool to see. Yeah. In the sense that, I mean, for you guys, you guys get home field advantage. So uh, it'll be just cool to see him on the road. I mean, I guess this is one one more box if he wins that he can check off his list, win on the road in the playoffs. So, uh, yeah, other than that, nothing to it. Yeah. I, I will say, I think uh, one thing this could open up to is some fun banter between the Chiefs players and maybe some of the fans there in Buffalo because we know the Buffalo fans are going to be going at the Chiefs players. And I don't think, like, some of those some of those guys on the team, I don't think they're afraid to, you know, chirp back at, at, at the fans. So I think that could open itself up to some, some fun opportunities and some, some funny clips. But uh, other than that, yeah, I don't really see it being a huge deal. Um, and with that, we'll go to our... Go ahead. Chirping fans. 
do it. Fuck Sirianni. See ya. See ya. <laughs> yeah. And enjoy your, your vacation in Cancun. Yeah. It'll, it'll be fun to see if he has a job here in a couple weeks. But um, with that being said, we'll, we'll go ahead and get into our predictions here. Um, Siege, go ahead and start with you. Who you got? Uh, Chiefs Bills. What are your options? Ty is not. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> I wasn't aware that those were my two options. <laughs> considering that's the game we're talking about. Uh, get. Mm, why not? Just give me the Bills. I'll be. I'll go against y'all. Okay. The Just, whole. The whole thirty subscribers hate. I don't think they're all Chiefs fans. They're probably majority not actually. But the ones that are. They're cursing your name right now. Shout out to all 30. Uh, I, I have a quick question before you move on, Burke, because I'm it? placing an order with Kyle Juszczyk's wife right now for these <laughs> knee pads. Do you want Do you want Patrick Mahomes' number on him? Or I do. Can I have? Can I? Yeah, like like just like he, she she did with the jackets. Like take Patrick on one and uh, oh, Jackson on the other. Uh, no, oh, crazy, crazy. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll talk about it later. But uh, yeah, anyway, so Aaron, who you got? Actually, Aaron, I want to save you for last being the fellow Chiefs fan. Joe, Chiefs, Bills, who you got? Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Dalvin Cook. Wait, well, not Dalvin Cook. James Cook, sorry. James, James Cook versus Isaiah Pacheco. Travis Kelsey. Dalvin is going to be on the – I think he might be on the roster for the Ravens. I think they picked him up. Yeah, that could be scary. But, they already have a good running, running off. Anyways, um, I'm rocking with 15. If he's suiting up, I'm not counting him out until – until he's out, so give me the Chiefs, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say Chiefs by I'm gonna say Chiefs by 20. They're gonna go in there and just run them. Damn! You think their offense finally figures it out? Yeah, I think Patrick Mahomes figures out how to catch and throw. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't trust those receivers, but I think I think Travis Kelsey is gonna go for like 70 yards and three touchdowns. I mean, we do have Jerry. I mean, sorry, Rasheed Rice. It's easy to get them mixed up. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. Okay. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and put you a Rice order down. Right down. Go ahead I see Jesus in their knee pad. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Aaron, Chiefs, Bills, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen. Who you got? I have. I can't. I have to pick the Chiefs. Yeah. It's just, I can't feel like picking against them. Um, I think... Butker is the MVP of this game, as per usual. Probably. Um, yeah. Bunch of field goals. I think we we need to figure out our red zone offense if mm. we ultimately want to want to win the Super Bowl. But agreed. Um, I think I think Butker ends up being enough this game, uh, winning by nine. I like it. Chiefs have the uh, definitely a top five defense. They're second. They were second in points allowed, second in yards allowed this year. So you could say they they were the best defense. To be honest, in my opinion, they were um, this season in the NFL. Uh, Josh Allen prone to making mistakes. Uh, Chiefs not a huge turnover um, defense. You know they they typically bend don't break kind of kind of thing. They'll they'll let you get into field goal range, but that's about it. Um, well, that's where you get it from. Do what? Never mind. Okay, keep going. Went over my head. That's on me. I left you hanging. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the Chiefs' defense obviously they're not not super known for for forcing turnovers. Um, they're more of a bend don't break defense. So uh, Josh Allen may not turn the ball over at all this game. To be honest, he also does have a track record of playing great against the Chiefs. Uh, but like I said, Patrick Mahomes has a has a better track record. As as crazy as that may sound as uh while playing against the bills so uh i do think that the trend continues chiefs uh win their third game against josh allen in the playoffs um this time in buffalo Patrick mahomes uh kind of rallies that offense around him and i i think isaiah pacheco ends up being the mvp of this game in my opinion aaron um i think he goes off for 120 plus rushing yards uh, maybe a couple touchdowns. I think as if we kind of play this game with a focus on running the football and playing good defense, I think that's how we win this game. Um, because I don't think our receivers are good enough to win a shootout against Buffalo. So 
I think the Chiefs win a grinded out, low scoring game, 27 to 20, 24, 27 to 24, um, where they just are able to run the clock out on the last drive with Pacheco. So, in case y'all got anything else, uh, I think that'll do it. How confident are you guys in a scale of 1 to 10? How confident are you, though? We know you're going to pick the Chiefs to win. That's who you guys want. Fair. How confident are you that they that they pull it off? I'd say probably about like a seven and a half. I think I'm a strong nine. Strong nine. Really? I don't think. All right. I don't think Josh Allen can can do it. I just don't. I think he's gonna. I think the uh, similar to how Tom Brady was Bert, to Peyton thinks Manning, Josh Allen's on the. He's gotta be now, right? I mean, <laughs> she's the roller coaster can only go up so high before it comes down. So he's due part partly, but no, I think he actually has a really good game. I just I just don't think he's able to do enough against. I think either either when. Josh Allen sees red, he freaks out a little bit. Or when Mahomes sees blue, he, like, gets really angry. I don't know what happens, but for whatever reason, when it matters most, the Chiefs beat the Bills. That's just how it works recently. So, I'm, I'm going to ride the hot hand. Because that's what, yeah, that's, that's how phase worked. But, other than that... That'll do it here for the most unprofessional sports channel on YouTube. So, Chair Sports, I've been your host, Zach Zuckerberg Perkle. Here's my ghost today, Aaron, Joe, and Siege. Go ahead and say bye, guys. Bye. See ya. All right, please make sure to like and subscribe. Deuces.